but she was fighting me and I knew I was only going to be in there for 15 minutes. And I swear to God, it was 15 minutes. On June 3rd, 2023, Dispatch received a call from the Walmart manager reporting that a woman had left her child in her car on a scorching 91-degree summer afternoon while the car was off. The officer arrived just as the woman was about to leave. How long was she in there? About 30 minutes, bro. She was in the vehicle for 30 minutes? That was her daughter. Uh, granddaughter. Did I call? Like, uh, I guess who? But found her. <laughs> you found her? Yeah. I was walking the parking lot there in the oh, parking lot like I normally do. And uh, as I passed by, I noticed I could barely see a little head over the steering wheel. Like, she wasn't even passing the window, dude. She's, like, small. And I was like, what the heck? And then, like, I kind of, like, did a little loop around the vehicle to see if there was people in the back seat. And there wasn't. And that's when I knew it right away. And the vehicle wasn't on. The work home for her. It's because I left. She didn't have shoes. She didn't want to get down. I was only in there, I swear to God, for 15 minutes. I went to get a rake and a blower. And that's the only reason why I left in there. I left all the windows down. She was in the shade. I know it's, I, I swear to God. It was, but did you turn, you had the vehicle off? Yeah, I had the vehicle off. And I had all the windows cracked though. And I swear to God. It she still was, gets hot in there. I know, man. I know. It still gets I, really hot in there. I know, and I, I don't do this. But she was fighting me. And I knew I was only going to be in there for 15 minutes. And I swear to God, it was 15 minutes. Because I went and got two things and I came right out. And I know that it's really hot. And that's why I rushed in and I rushed out. I would never leave her in there longer than that. Is that your daughter or your granddaughter? It's my granddaughter. Your granddaughter? Yeah. But I'm raising her because my daughter left her with me. My daughter's an addict. So I'm raising her. But anyway, I don't want to get there. But I know I, I don't do this often. And I swear to God, it was only 15 minutes. You know, and I left all the windows cracked, and she was sitting in the shade. And I know I understand it's still hot, even if you're in the shade. But I would never leave her in there longer than 15 minutes. I, yeah. You know, I'm not the type that's going to go shopping at Walmart for an hour and leave my children. Yeah, well, I mean, when people see but, kids inside of a vehicle, no, I would especially when it's hot outside. I would report it too, to tell yeah. you the truth. I would report it too. I'm the same kind of person. I would, if I saw a baby in the car, I would definitely record it too. But I swear to God, to you guys, I was in less than 15 minutes in there. I went. Well, so, dude, I, I, I understand that. what your what your train of thought is, okay? But yeah, I think you these cars get too bright. No, I know that. No, and oh, that's what I'm telling finish, you. Okay? Because she's sweating. I can see it, like her hair's mad at her head because she's been sweating so much. That's how quick these cars get. No, I Especially understand. here in the desert, like it's not just yeah. move for 15 minutes. I understand. Like, who knows what could happen, especially in this area. Too. I understand. So, she told the police that the child was fighting with her and did not want to go, so she parked the car in the shade with all the windows down. However, CCTV footage showed that she only had two windows slightly open, and the vehicle was not in the shade. Well, I didn't want to approach the little girl, and then because she had a phone on her, I didn't want her to dial 911 on me. So I was like kind of adamant about like approaching her. Cause she had a phone on her, so I was like, well, she's, she should be able to call her grandma. I, did fire give her medical attention? Or they checked on her? Or? No, they didn't even do nothing. No. I, they were right here, parked to like the uh, grocery entrance, and I told them, hey, we got a kid. The doctor was there, they pulled up. That's when the grandma pulled oh, up. Okay. And uh, I believe they told this manager that, because the parent was here, she's okay. Okay. They didn't really check her or anything. Freaking hot outside. And she said she parked it in the shade. There is no shade there. Then after management came, that's whenever you approached the vehicle? That's when I pushed the vehicle and closer. Her, and I, she said she was scared or she um, looked scared? She looked scared. She went from the driver's seat to the back seat and like kind of stood and sat in the corner uh -huh. to like get, I guess not away from us, but to get in a more yeah. secure position where she felt like her back wasn't exposed. Uh -huh. From there, that's when the manager in the black, that's when she started approaching her. She went to the driver's side window because it was rolled down like just a little bit and so that's when she started talking to her while I just watched to see if the parent came by. I was only out there for a few minutes and I was already sweating. sweating. Me too. <laughs> that's what I told him. I was like, it was really hot. Imagine how hot it was. And the car wasn't even running. I, I mean, it was yeah. windows on both sides were barely cracked. And how, like, how many inches do you think it was? No less than two and a half inches. Yeah. Like, and then when she got there, she didn't even open the door to get her the girl out to yeah. like pull down. She literally just, she just opened the back. Yeah. Throwing her stuff into the back. I was just like shocked. And she goes, I was only gone for 15 minutes. And then, well, she went from 20, yeah, then to 15, minutes. and then to 10 when she was talking to the um, ambulance, the guys in the ambulance.
Your uh, is that your current address? Yes. Standing out here on the race way. I mean, you just didn't take her own with you. She didn't want to go to sit out in the stroller. And I was going to just put her in the stroller and make her go, but I knew I was only going to be in there for 15 minutes. But, I mean, I totally can relate. I mean, if I saw a baby in the car, I would report it to her. Is the car running? No. I, mean, I just had all the windows cracked. Yeah. I mean, I rolled them up now because I have the cooler on, but I had all the windows cracked and she was in the shade. But, I mean, either way, I know it gets hot. Yeah, there's no, I mean, there's no excuse. Oh. I'm not trying to make excuses because I don't do it. Yeah. But I did it today, and now I know why I don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> because and, uh, I want to have ten cops in the parking lot. Yeah, and I don't yeah. want to go to jail. And, so. and even on top of that, all the vagrants here, jail. all the vagrants in this area. Uh, yeah. No. I mean, I do lock her in. But, yeah, but don't yeah. break a window. Break a window. Yeah. Model yeah. for our sex offenders as well. Right. What? Uh, you good? Uh, you're her caregiver. Yeah. I've had her. My daughter dropped her off when she was six months old. Because my daughter's an addict. So she left her with me when she was six months old. A few witnesses also confirmed that the woman returned to her car after 30 minutes. So the officer decided to report the incident to CYFD. So, given that it's 88 degrees out here, it's, it's hot. Alright? My, my AC unit doesn't work right now. It's hot. Right. You know, if, if we would have found her the way we did and you weren't there yet, we would have broken your window for sure. I don't think you want that. So right now, I'm gonna, we're going to call CYFD. All right, I'm going to make a sky report and obviously tell them of the incident that occurred. Okay? So they'll probably do a welfare check, stuff like that. Um, So you went into the store about 15 minutes, you left the, the vehicle wasn't running, uh, the window was cracked. All four windows. All four windows were cracked, about how much? Oh, well, just get all the information, you have to call the sky report. Okay. Um, just did you explain to her that if we would have gotten here sooner, we probably would have broke her window, did we pick it out? No, I didn't. Because I mean, that was honestly, as soon as you got here, you found her like that, that's what I was going to tell you to do. Yeah. So. Good, bro. We're going to try to go and turn that evidence now. Whatever. Uh, blue pill. The woman was charged with abandonment of a child. YouTube thinks you'll love the video on screen. Click to watch now.